What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my WWE 2K20 wish list. Let's get right into this. Okay, to start off this video, I'm going to start with the superstars that I want to see in the next game. Up first is Mark Henry. I would really like to see Mark Henry in the game because I have a couple ideas to use him in universe mode. But I just don't understand why he wasn't in the last game, WWE 2K19, because before that game came out, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, but he wasn't into the next game. I don't understand why he wasn't in it, but I really wish that he would make a return. Next is JBL, which in a way, it makes sense why he wasn't in the game for last year for 2K19, because he is no longer in the WWE. However... I would really like to see him return because I'd like to see him as a general manager of either SmackDown or possibly NXT and use him in my universe mode that way. I do like JBL. I wish to see him in the game again, but I understand if he's not in the next game because he's no longer in the WWE. Next is RVD. This is one that I was really looking forward for this year. He was part of 2K18 as DLC. So I assumed he was going to be in 2K19 just because usually if the year before, if there's any DLC superstars, usually they're regular superstars in the regular game the next year, the following year. That was not the case with RVD. 2K18, he was DLC. 2K19, he wasn't part of the game at all. 2K20, I want to see him in the game. However, I don't honestly think it's going to happen because RVD is now part of TNA once again. He's on the active roster in TNA. So I just don't see him being in the game. But I really wish he was because I have a whole bunch of ideas that I could use him for in my universe mode. And it'd be nice to see. Next is going to be the Brian Kendrick, which 2K18, yet again, he was in that game. It was his first appearance in a long time in the Cruiserweight Division 205 Live. 2K19, he wasn't in the game. I really would like to see him return to the game. I know he's not seen as much anymore, but uh, he's a huge part of my universe mode for the Cruiserweight division, so I'd like to see him return. Tommaso Ciampa, when 2K19 came out, he was the NXT champion. I don't know what happened. I know WWE, for 2K, for the video games, it's contracts. They have to give contracts to each superstar, and that comes straight from 2K, so maybe... Tommaso Ciampa and 2K didn't come to an agreement. That's why he wasn't in the game. But to not have the current NXT champion in the game when he was in the previous game, to me, made no sense. It was pretty disappointing because I had huge plans for him. So I see him making a return in the game. I know he's still off injured right now, but I think he should make a return to the video game at least. Nikki Cross, whenever last game came out, I don't understand why she wasn't in it. Also, she was with Sanity in NXT. The rest of Sanity got called up. She stayed in NXT. She did great stuff there, I felt, without Sanity. She got called up to the main roster. And currently, Alexa Bliss and her, Nikki Cross, are the women's tag team champions. So I possibly see that she's going to be in the next game. I can't see why not. Next is going to be Mick Foley, which, yes, we have Dude Love. We have Cactus Jack. We have Mankind. But I just want to see regular old Mick Foley in the game once again. In previous games, he did make appearances. He was the GM for 2K18, I believe, when he was the actual Raw General Manager. So I'd like to see him return. And he has been making appearances, so I believe he has a Legends contract. He revealed the 24-7 championship when it got debuted. So I'd like to see him return to games. Next is Rhino, which, again... I used him quite a bit in my universe mode as a legend. I had him in NXT. I used him regularly there to boost NXT talent. He was NXT champion. I had great plans for him, great pushes for him. But yet again, he is part of TNA right now. He's active on TNA on the TNA roster. He basically left WWE, went straight to TNA. I don't see him being part of the next game. It's on my wish list because honestly, I would love to see him part of the next game because I like to use him in my universe mode. I just honestly don't see it happening. And the last superstar I'd like to see in WWE 2K20 is the Hurricane. This is SmackDown's 20th anniversary. That is the DLC for this year's game. And honestly, the Hurricane was a huge, huge part of the Cruiserweight division, in my opinion. He was one of my favorite guys on SmackDown. He had a great character. 
And over the past few years, he's been making returns to the WWE. He's been in the past uh, Royal Rumble. He's been in the past Greatest Royal Rumble. He's been helping out at the Performance Center. So I believe he has some kind of contract with the WWE. I'd really like to see him in the next game. I think that would be epic to have him in the next video game so I could use him in 205 Live on SmackDown, the main roster, NXT. Use him all over the place. And that's what I really would like to see him in the game so I can use him once again in the video games. Next is going to be Arenas. Up first is No Mercy. And they did return this pay-per-view back in 2016 whenever they did the WWE brand split. However, it didn't last long in the WWE, but I would like to see it make a return to the game because I like using retro pay-per-views in my universe mode. I would also like to see Vengeance, Judgment Day, and Unforgiven. Now, something tells me that those three will not make a permanent return to the game, but I would like to see them in WWE 2K20 just for the same reason. I like to use retro pay-per-views in my universe mode because I don't just do one pay-per-view a month. I have two pay-per-views a month, one for Raw and one for SmackDown because for my universe mode, I do use a brand split. I have SmackDown being SmackDown, I have Raw being Raw. I don't have them together only for a few pay-per-views. So to see more and more retro pay-per-views so I can use them in my universe mode, I really want to see that. Next is going to be a few matches I would like to see return to WWE games. Some of these, however, I just don't see them happening because... WWE just doesn't use these matches anymore, so I don't see them putting it in the next video game. Up first is Inferno matches, which Kane isn't active in the WWE, so I don't see that happening, and they don't use these matches anymore. Next is going to be I Quit matches, which I remember SmackDown Shut Your Mouth using the I Quit matches. It was pretty epic back then. The matches, I Quit matches, did make a return to the games. However, since WWE doesn't use them anymore, they don't have them in the games anymore, but I'd like to see them make a return. Next is going to be Buried Alive Matches, which for 2K18, it did make a return in-game, but it was only for the showcase mode with The Undertaker. It never made a return to online, to player, uh, which is one-on-one, -on -one, or universe mode, which is very disappointing. And the last one, which is the only one I actually see happening, is the Special Referee Matches. WWE has been using them once again pretty frequently. I would like to see it return for my universe mode because... I would basically have a couple legends return and basically have a referee, special referee role before they make a return to in-ring. I think that'd be pretty epic. Or possibly a couple wrestlers that are just on the undercard. Maybe I could have them be special referees and kind of put themselves in championship opportunities and rivalries. Maybe they can have somebody lose and then they have a rivalry with that person. I think that'd be pretty epic. So I would like to see special referee matches return. And while we're on the topic of matches, one that I would like to see continue to be part of WWE games, it was in WWE 2K19 where it made a return and I hope to see it in 2K19. And that is the multi tag team match, the fatal four way tag team matches, the triple threat tag team matches. I really want to see them because it helps boost my tag team division. So hopefully since WWE still uses those matches, Hopefully they continue to bring them in the video games. And the last thing that I would like to see in the next WWE video game is the return of the general manager mode. The GM mode back in the day was one of my favorite things on SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, 2007, and 2008. That was honestly my favorite part of those video games is to have full control over a specific brand where you can go and give superstars contracts, you can go and make the matches, try to boost revenue for your brand, and try to become the superior brand. Since WWE has the brand split right now, which isn't in full effect right now, but back in 2016 it was, I really wish over the past few years they did return GM mode because of the brand split. However, that just did not happen. I know they do have the universe mode, which is what I play most of the time. You can pretty much do anything you want in universe mode. You can have people traded to different rosters. You can do different things. You have full control. Whereas GM mode, you controlled a specific brand. So if you controlled SmackDown, you can make trades with Raw. You can make trades with the other brands. However, they had to approve those trades. You couldn't just do free trades. You couldn't send people wherever you want, whenever you want. You have to get traded with the next GM. You have to purchase superstars. You have to give them contracts. You have to purchase matches. You have to basically budget everything. And that's what I liked about it. It was more of a contract mode instead of just a free do whatever you want with our brand mode, which is what universe mode is. So hopefully GM mode returns to the WWE video games, and I hope to see it in WWE 2K20. 
So this is my wish list for WWE 2K20. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what is on your wish list for the next WWE game. And I will leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.